Hello guys, Josh from City Thousand here, and today we have the final part of Transformers War for Cybertron, but not the final video on it. I will have some more videos in the future. I do want to do a retrospective video talking about my thoughts after playing through the entire game again. Uh, does it hold up? You know that kind of thing. And I also did want to do a video looking at a reshader, which is Reshade 3.0 which is supposed to try and remaster the game, make it look a little bit better. And the tra the, the video for it on YouTube looks phenomenal, so I actually want to get this get it installed and go back through some of my favorite areas, uh, which will probably be chapter 3, uh, chapter, this chapter, and um, maybe like chapter 4, 1. Uh, most of my favorite areas are in the Decepticon campaign, and like some in the Autobot, but... That's not irrelevant, that's irrelevant. We're here to do one shall stand and one shall fall. Of course you gotta complete that quote. If you if you're gonna do that quote, you gotta complete it. One shall stand. Let's go. Right, I did promise I would play Bumblebee. Uh I'm not gonna do that today, however, because I do want the dash and the war cry. Um what I'll do is in my video for the the remaster I will play as Bumblebee. So let's go. We're gonna go as Optimus. Uh, I just want to thank you all that have watched this series all the way through. Uh, it means a lot. The orbital cannon is offline, but has revealed its true form to be none other than a savage monster named Trypticon. It races to the planet's surface like a meteor, hungry to enact revenge on the Autobots. Okay, keeping it brief. Look, there it is. Silverbolt, this is Optimus. We pinpointed the crash site and are moving in for a visual. I want you on standby in case there's any trouble. Roger that, Optimus. We're jetting your way, but it'll take us some time to reach you. You think that hunk of junk could survive a crash from orbit? Drypticon is as tough as they come. If he is still alive, your weapons won't damage his armor. You'll have better luck targeting his weapon systems. Thanks for the tip, Silverbolt. Okay. Well, be careful. But, um, as you guys can see, this is standard graphics. I haven't installed that mod yet. I will do after this, and I'll give it a little bit of a try for myself. Uh, battle pistol. Let's have a look what else is around here. Oh, thermo rocket. Ah, uh, I'm not sure. Do I take the thermo rockets? Um, yeah, I'll take the thermo rockets. Actually, they might be somewhat useful because I've never, I've. There's been several boss fights where I haven't brought the thermo rockets and I've regretted it. So I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'm going to bring the thermo rockets. And besides, I already have a decent primary weapon right here. <gasps> actually, you know what? Stuff it. I'm bringing this. <laughs> yeah, this, for the, by the way, Furton Burst Rifle is my favorite weapon in the game. You give me this thing, I'm happy. So let's go. Let's roll out. This must be the place. Really? What was your first clue? The total devastation? I don't see any signs of Trypticon. And at his size, he'd be hard to miss. Ow! Ooh, scrap maker. So many hard choices. A scrap maker is actually probably going to be. Uh, I don't know. Scrap maker is probably going to be better for the boss fight, but uh, uh, I'll go with the photon burst. Watch me regret my decision the moment I go into the boss fight. Oh Jesus, that's a fall. Okay. Uh, we were kind of hoping. Pathetic. He's just laughing at us. I don't fucking remember his move set. We can cause them to overload and might destroy him. Iron Hides right. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> Death number one. 
Okay, so yeah. Hang on, wait, I have an idea. He's just laughing at us! Okay. There's cover here. Hurt, I think this will work. He can't be invincible. We're overlooking something. Oh fuck he's using me. Look, I think his shoulder can't <laughs> overheating. If we can cause them to overload, it might destroy him. Ironhide's right. We've got to figure out how to overload those cannons. Right. Okay, there's something there that's available to use. I'm gonna, like, get that. This might be helpful. Um... Hello, um... Shit. Get behind something. Okay, so what is actually my objective? God, I keep screwing this up. <laughs> you thought you could destroy me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You thought yeah. you could destroy Trippicon? Ah, uh, pathetic. He's just laughing at us! Abandoned Hulk Thurman. Your death approaches. You heard, Silverbolt. His armor's too tough. He can't be invincible. We're overlooking something. Ow. Ow. I think his shoulder cannons are overheating. If we can cause them to overload, it might destroy them. Ironhide's right. We've got to figure out how to overload those cannons. Sugar, 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 sugar. Okay, I'm gonna just try and dodge this time. Crap. Right. Okay. Okay, has that done anything? Okay, they're sparking. They're sparking. We're going in the right direction. Okay. Shit, 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 shit. Come on, we charge. I can't do anything when I'm pinned down like this. Oh crap, he's gonna do something. Okay, so he's using that cannon now, so I can... Come on, stop shooting for a second, you bastard. I fucking hate this boss fight. Bumblebee! Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Air raid. Heal Prime and the others. Jet fire and I will cover you. Deploying healing charges. Just be near them when they detonate. Silver ball. Jet fire. to do now okay that's his tail that's a tail okay so you dodge the tail I think I've got this yeah. 
I got this. Oh shit. Well, I've got this shield, which makes this a bit more comfortable. So once you get to the second stage, it isn't that bad. They're changing. He still got the same problem. Too much heat buildup. Aim for those dissipation coils on his ribs. We're following Ironhide's lead on this. Target those coils. Okay. Okay, there we are. He's done that, so we're gonna rinse him and repeat until we take out those coils. That'll do. Um I must admit that lighting mod will look fucking terrifying in this section. Like Do it. That's one. That looked really painful. I'll crush you. I'll crush you all. Keep it up, Autobots. We're hurting him. Alright. Next game. What well, next one? Okay. Is there any ammo anywhere? Yeah, there's ammo. Okay. I need that. Okay, I nearly got this. Right, okay, the core's gone, reload. Switch weapon. Okay, here we are, next one. I must admit, it's always the first bit of this boss fight I have problems with, because the second one's a much more clear cut pattern. Whereas the first one's just a bombardment and you've got to try and cling to cover, which, as you've seen previously, I have issues with. Like, got him. That'll do it. Ah, now this is the last bit. No, this is the last bit. He's gonna do. Oh, he's gonna do the exact same thing that robot did. I, I see. Right, let's get rid of these things. My weapons aren't hurting him at all. Keep your optics open. He has to have some kind of weakness. Those power cores on his back look vulnerable. Yes, something to shoot. Light them up. Shit, move! Crypticon's dorsal power cores. Fuck, that ain't it. Don't fall off that. That ain't good. Shit. Okay, come out fighting. It's working! Hard on! That's one. Well, that's one. But I'm running low on the old ammunition. Okay, so let's go and pick that up. First things first, let's see if there any like... Okay, so there's a shotgun. So we've got a shotgun. Oh, we've got a big ass gun here. And a missile launcher. Just checking for weapons and see what is available to use. Um, okay, shit. You might want to dodge those, Josh. Actually dodge them, that helps. Um, reload, come on. 
got it. Okay, so if I can keep firing at those. Okay, shit. This'll do. We got him, I think. Thank Primus. It worked. You have defeated me, Autobots. You've lost Triptychon. You shall not pass. Autobots, roll out. Job is a good one. Tripticon is defeated, but the victory is bittersweet. Optimus and the others watch as their brothers evacuate the planet in the galactic transports. You did it, Prime. We did it, Ratchet. All of us. Many brothers were lost today. But thanks to our combined efforts, many more will live to find a home elsewhere. Optimus, Megatron is still out there. And as long as we remain here, we shall resist him. But in time, our turn will come to leave Cybertron as well. I have commissioned a new galactic transport for us, an Ark, in which we shall make our journey through the stars. No matter where we go, Cybertron will be with us. So that's the end. Hit it, Sandwave. Oh, Jesus. I do not want to get copyright striked. I want to show these credits, but I don't want to get copyright striked, so I'm going to talk over them. <laughs> oh, I must admit, I remember playing this game for the first time and just being so impressed at these, like, graphics at the end. Like, you got to remember, like, playing this as a kid when it first came out, like, how impressive this was. Like, just the entire game in general. Uh, so yeah, like I say, I'm going to do two more videos, one being looking at the graphics mod and, you know, maybe if you want me to look again at particular chapters uh, with the graphics mod, go ahead, ask me, I will see if I can find the time. Um, <laughs> that guy, I remember that guy, yeah, that's actually one of my favourite missions. Oh, my boy Jazz, my boy Jazz. It's a shame. It's a shame. Jazz isn't actually in the game as a playable. I mean, they could have took Bumblebee out for that last mission and put Jazz in. I would have loved that. Getting to play as Jazz for the last mission. Oh well, never mind. We get to play as Jazz in the next game. So yeah, that'll um, that'll keep me. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm having to keep talking to avoid the copyright strike. Hey, what up, Jazz? <laughs> Jesus, man, I don't. Uh, there's RC. You get RC as a playable. Uh, I believe Jazz was DLC, but the problem is the PC version never got the DLC. So I kind of hope it gets added. I I, I kind of hope it gets added to um, backwards compatibility, so I can actually get the DLCs. 
because we never got maps like Paul Static and the like on PC, which is such a shame. Um, but hopefully, if there is a Xbox One release or something, <laughs> clown car. Okay, yeah, that's it. Campaign reward RC is now available in multiplayer. She was already available in multiplayer, but whatever. Okay, so that's it. It's all done. I'm done. Uh, unless you want me to do a video where I play co-op with somebody, you know, that's it. But even then, I've got to convince one of my friends to play this. Because I'm really the only one of my friends that's a big Transformers fan. So, yep. That'll, that'll do it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.